started writing music shortly after I moved to Boston to go to music school. Um, so the group has existed in some form for quite a long time. Um, when I was at the conservatory, I got really uh, into the music of Steve Reich, Philip Glass, Terry Riley. Do you have a whole picture when you come to put them together? Is it a piece by piece process? Uh, there's kind of a, a rough image of what I want the, the overall sound to be, but I, tr I really have, especially lately, tried not to control where the music is going. I think I used to be more obsessed with what is this going to sound like. Um, and actually, we were just in the studio. Uh, we have a new album coming out in January, which we're really excited about. Um, we've released two albums that are centered around this fictional bear named Bear Thompson. Um, and we kind of had this idea of coming up with a trilogy of CDs that are centered around this little, little bear character, cartoon character. And when we were in the studio, um, something that we all, I think, tried to achieve was to just go in there and just almost as if we were just playing a concert and just blow and let it be what it is. We've, we've played this music so much and we've, we've played so many shows together that we really are, I think all of us are trying not to control it as much anymore, right? For yeah. The most part. Yeah, it was a surprisingly smooth <laughs> yeah. and easy recording session. And I know you've said in, in interviews that you play the sax as kind of a folk instrument. Right. Could you explain what that is compared to playing as a jazz instrument specifically? Right. I mean, that's something that I feel like I'm trying to get closer to doing is playing the saxophone like a folk instrument, um, where I'm focused on melodies, playing playing simple melodies or um, playing songs that are, are you know easy to listen to, um, that have some kind of like creative bent to it, but also are, are have a strong melody, so I, that's that's a goal of mine. It's something that I'm working towards every day, and I feel like all of us, soft, you can when you play guitar. You're kind of doing that too. You're you're a jazz player, I guess, but you're, you're kind of looking at it like from yeah, a yeah, melodic yeah, standpoint great. too. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I, uh, that's how I compose myself. So right. I mean, I usually write write a melody, not even write one. I just just start hearing the melody in my head. concept that was I kind of came in after he'd already formed his idea um, mm -hmm. but it just so happened that some of the influences I had um, kind of connected almost randomly I think like you know like I said we met through a friend a mutual friend and I don't think uh, I think it was just a coincidence that I could play his yeah. kind of stuff yeah. just because of things that I had been involved in previously mm -hmm. kind of like felt like it's time to you know kind of get back to the root of just playing uh, nice melodies for people. <laughs> 